there you go. This is one super powerful and awesome circle of magic protection, if I do say so myself. Now, what say you hand over that fez? No way! Your static circle protects me from reverse magic, but you gotta make sure I'm covered for any trick magic man could pull. Oh, right. I did say that. Uh, I guess the next thing you need is some... some amulets. You know, ones that'll block curses and stuff. Well, I don't really have a neck, so amulets are a problem accessory-wise. Yeah, I can see how that might be an issue. Hey, how about I stick the amulets on a cloak? Make sort of a cloak of amulets. Oh, yeah! That sounds awesome! Make sure you get ones that protect me from as many spells as possible. I want you to lay those amulets on thick. Oh, trust me. I'm laying it on thick. Thick. Let's see. I'll need something for the cloak, some mountings and gems, and some way to attach them all to the cloak. You stay put. I'll get the stuff I need to make the cloak, and I'll bring it back to you when I'm done. Um. That combination definitely doesn't work. Some things weren't meant to be combined. These are two of those things. She would be. That combination definitely doesn't work. No. Hmm. Okay. Hey, hands off the merchandise! These pocket watches are pretty. Kind of amulet like. In a gemless sort of way. Hey, right. Doc J. What's happening? I ain't gotta tell you nothing. Get lost! Geez, hostile much? I just wanna talk. Let's see, where can I get amulets and what's with the you watches? You happen to know where I can get some magic amulets, do you? Magic amulets? I wish. All I got is a bunch of stupid pocket watches. <laughs> what are you doing with all those pocket watches anyway? I thought I could sell them, make some dosh. Turns out nobody uses pocket watches anymore. Now I'm stuck with them. Oh, man. Can I have some of those watches? Mind if I take some of those watches off your hands? No deal, vampire lady. They might be worthless watches, but they're my worthless watches. And I ain't in the business of giving my stuff away. How about a trade? Is there anything you need that might make you willing to give up a few of your watches? Come to think of it, there is something I need. But you ain't never gonna be able to get your hands on them. You might be surprised what I can do. What is it? Me and the boys need some new waffle cones. You know, so we could show up Jaybird's gang by looking all dapper and stuff. The only supply in town is locked up tight in some abandoned truck. Ain't nobody been able to get those cones out. It'd take a wrecking ball or something to do it. <laughs> you score me some of them cones, and you can have as many pocket watches as you want, deal? Deal. You hang in there, Doc J. I'll be back with those waffle cones in no time. So the ice cream truck. The question is how to get inside the ice cream truck. No way I'm getting in there barehanded. It'll take a wrecking ball or something to break that rusted old thing open. A wrecking ball. Maybe I gotta talk to him? Yo, Gumball Guardian! I need to talk to you for a sec. Okay, but I'm pretty busy. I have a deadline to meet. What are you doing? What's with the so, ice cream truck? So, what you doing? Fixing stuff? Yes, there was much damage to the kingdom during Darren and Maja's attack. We are still not finished with our repairs. There's an ice cream truck down there in the street. Does it belong to anybody? No, it is abandoned. I'm supposed to move it, but I haven't had time. Can you break the truck open instead? Are there cones in that any truck? Any idea if there are any ice cream cones in that truck? I need some. 
I don't know, but it is an ice cream truck, so I suppose it is possible. Instead of moving the truck, do you think you could, you know, smash it open for me? There might be something inside that I need. It could be smashed open using one of my wrecking gumballs, but I cannot release a gumball without official written permission from Princess Bubblegum. So, if I brought you back a royal decree from PB, you could let loose one of those gumballs of yours and help me out? Yes, the orders of the princess are law, even when her orders place others in mortal danger. Awesome! <laughs> Yo. You just wait here and I'll see what I can do about faking, um, <clears throat> getting oh that royal God. decree. Okay, I will Terrible. return to my repair work now. Okay, so, gonna grab the blank world document. With there. The pen. That is one good looking forgery. When I show this to the gumball guardian, he'll have to release one of his gumballs. And let's use it on him. Hey, gumball guardian, check it out. PB says it's cool if you help me out. Hmm, yes. That appears to be an official royal document from the princess. The dangerous release of a wrecking gumball is authorized. Stand by. Gumball release imminent. Please clear the area <laughs> below. Yikes! Gumball release achieved. Please use it wisely. I must get back to work now. Goodbye. Will do. Thanks, Gumball Guardian. Oh, man. You made a mess. It's the gumball that the gumball guardian uh, dropped. That thing is as big as a wrecking ball. Here goes nothing. Whoa! That did the trick. That ice cream truck is history. That gumball nice. is a goner. All that's left is a giant blob of sticky gum. Ugh. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to have a couple of sticky blobs of gum on hand for whatever. Okay. Wow. That gumball totally flattened the truck. And the truck was full of waffle cones. I'll just snag a few of these cones and trade them to Dr. J. Okay, cool. Extra Dr. G. Give him the cones and take the watches. Got you those waffle cones, Doc J. A ton of them. Now how about sharing some of those pocket watches? Yeah, sure. Take as many as you want. Oh, wait till the boys see this. These cones will make some seriously styling headgear. Okay. Now, you combine. Seems like the right idea. Gems. But I'm definitely missing something. Oh. I don't think those things were meant to combine. Yep, now the pocket watches are sticky. Cool! Okay. That combination definitely doesn't work. Now, the makeshift amulets are sticky. Some things weren't meant to be combined. These are two of those things. I don't think those things were meant to combine. So I need a cape. Yeah, this is enough for now. I think I'm on to something, but I'm not quite there yet. You stay put. I'll get the stuff I need to make the cloak, and I'll bring it back to you when I'm done. You stay put. I'll get the stuff I need to make the cloak, and I'll bring it back to you when I'm done. Mm. That combination definitely doesn't work. Okay. Need like a clasp or something. 
Cookie Guy is still here. Doesn't look like he's enjoying his dinner, which isn't really all that surprising. You work here? About time! I need some salt. This food is too not salty! <laughs> Where are you going? You wanted salt? Here's some salt. It's about time. The service in this place is awful. If it wasn't for your sugary drinks, I'd never come here. Now, time for a little salt. What the? Pepper! Lots of it! Pepper makes me... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jeez, that's man. it. I've had it. I'm done with this place. You've seen the last of Cookie Guy. Until the next time I need a sugary <laughs> beverage. Nobody's going to want to eat off that tablecloth now that Cookie Guy sneezed all over it. Cool. This tablecloth looks sufficiently cloak like to fool, um, impress the little candy guy. All right. All right. That definitely looks like a legit cloak of amulets, if there was such a thing. Guess I better go back to the candy guy. So we combine the gems with the tablecloth to make a cloak. Now I can go back, give this to the candy man, get the fez back. All right, little candy dude. One cloak of amulets, as <laughs> promised. You should be totally safe now. Ready to give up that fez? This is a pretty sweet cloak, but, uh, I don't know. I mean, without the fizz, the top of my head will feel so exposed. <sighs> okay. I guess you'll need, um, a magic helmet. Yeah, that'll work. Oh, totally! Ten for you. Not just any magic helmet, something cool and heroic, like in the movies. <laughs> The guy in the poster over there is wearing one. That's the magic helmet I want. Okay, yeah, cool. That's definitely the last item you'll need, too. That's like head-to-toe protection. Way better than the Fez. Yeah, totally. You give me that helmet, and I'll be ready to give you the Fez. You got it. Stay put. I'll be back soon. Definitely the right idea, but I don't quite have it figured out yet. Let's see. So, that's the helmet the candy guy wants. Looks like a shiny bowl with spiky things sticking out of it. Lucky the real thing looks pretty fake already. I wonder where I can get what I need for this. Oh, the antenna The strainer he's eating popcorn out of could come in handy. Can't you see I'm watching TV? Buzz off! I need to go up top. Oh, look at that. This guy's an antenna. I could really use that antenna, but I doubt that guy's just gonna let me have it. Sorry. I'm too busy to talk right now. I'm trying to concentrate. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Oops. <laughs> Sorry! Aw, oh, man, this reception stinks. I'm out of here. I guess I can take the antenna now. Sweet, I got both. That TV antenna kind of looks like the top of that magic helmet on the movie poster. Great, this will definitely make an impressive addition to a fake magic helmet. Okay, go down. Grab the popcorn, just be poor freaking guy. Great, he left behind his strainer. That'll be perfect for the candy guy's magic helmet. Sweet. This strainer is just what I need for the base of the helmet. Well, at least he landed someplace soft-ish. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, the magic helmet is shaping up nicely. Still a little dull, though. Not bad. This will definitely pass for a magic helmet now. All right, we're good. Let's go back to him and hand him the helmet. And that's it for this artifact. Here you go, candy guy. One shiny, new, <laughs> totally authentic magic helmet. This is so awesome! 
woman. Oh, I'm super well protected now. And I look <laughs> so freaking cool. Um, yeah, sure. So how about handing over the fez? Yeah, sure. Totally. I sure don't need it anymore. Thanks for your help, Marceline. Yeah, sure. Bye. <laughs> Let's see Magic dude? Man. Try a mess with me now. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, oh no! I can't get up! If I can't get totally inside my magic circle, oh, I'll be an easy target for Magic Man! Yeah, him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Terrible bro. Nicely done, Marceline. You were right to be worried about this. This has far more magical power than your average magical fez. Yeah, thanks for keeping it safe for me. Oh, I assure you. It's my pleasure. My pleasure indeed. Huh? Oh, nothing. <laughs> Who's the new guy? <laughs> he was at the yard sale. Indeed. He's got a cool lantern thing that he's using to help me find the missing artifacts. Named Sonny. Whatever. What's next, Marceline? Sonny located another artifact. The Ancient Amulet of Separation. It's somewhere in the grasslands out near the Box Kingdom. We're heading there now. Yuck! I'm so allergic to that place. Which is weird. I'm around cardboard all the time. Whatevs. Gotta run. Keep that fez safe. <laughs> Don't worry. Nobody will get their hands on the fez. Nobody but me, that is. <laughs> what are you still doing here? Go! Yeah, I'm going.